I'm going to do one more co-write that I did with Daryl at Ron's request because Ron is a dear, dear friend. In fact, when you look, when you go to my website, okay, the, uh, robertmorganfisher.com, the first thing you see is this big roll-top desk that's closed, okay? And uh, it says Robert Morgan Fisher um, uh, does a lot of different stuff. Please don't pigeonhole him. And then you click on it, and the roll-top desk rolls up to reveal these pigeonholes, right? That was... That was Russ Paris, my web designer, and my vision. And the guy that made that happen is Ron Sarfati right here. He actually went out and found a roll-top desk and photographed it. <laughs> okay, this is uh, one of the first songs Daryl and I wrote. And uh, it's a folk standard. You might have heard it on XM Satellite Radio. And Mr. Schwinn was as thin as a pelican's grin And I gave him my bike when the wheel wouldn't spin When the wheel wouldn't spin or the gear wouldn't shift For fixing a bike, the man had a gift They were stashed in the back of his waterfront shack his and her bikes perfectly matched perfectly matched like a groom and a bride waiting to take a honeymoon ride he'd say one of these bikes is more than a twin as he pumped up the tires and polished the rim I'm saving it for my Mrs. Schwinn, oh yeah. The tires and the wires filled me with desire, and the sprockets and streamers were truly admired, were truly admired by all kinds of folks who watched as he carefully tightened the spokes. Yes, the chrome really shone, but if truth be known, at the end of the day, he went home alone. Yes, he went home alone by way of the pier to watch the tide turn and the sun disappear. He'd say one of these bikes is more than a twin as he oiled the chain and polished the rim. I'm saving it for my Mrs. Schwinn. Oh. He'd say one of these bikes is more than a twin as he tested the brakes and polished the rim. I'm saving it for my Mrs. Schwinn. Yesterday was the day that I heard people say the old man at the bicycle shop passed away. Mr. Schwinn passed away, and my wife and I cried, cause he never did take that honeymoon ride. Twas with grim discipline that the town buried him, and his gravestone revealed that his name wasn't Schwinn. No, his name wasn't Schwinn. 
But I'll tell you with pride, he gave me the groom and my wife the bride. Mr. Schwinn was as thin as a pelican's grin, and I gave him my bike when the wheel wouldn't spin, when the wheel wouldn't spin, or the gear wouldn't shift for fixing a bike. The man had a gift. Mr. Schwinn.